Billy Wiz back online and we're going to show you how to change your ERC20 ETH or other tokens into BEP20 tokens. Uh, I'm on the Ethereum network with MetaMask on the Chrome or Chrome with a MetaMask extension and we're on PancakeSwap. You can do this on your phone in the MetaMask browser as well. You need to go to PancakeSwap.Finance. I'll put the link in the description and what you come to this page here home. You won't be able to connect your wallet because you're on the Ethereum network, but you don't want to get on the BSC network yet. You want to go down to exchange. And then when you get to exchange, you'll see there's different the BNB to different currencies. If you haven't got any BNB, but you've only got ETH, then you may want to start taking advantage of the BSC chain because the ETH fees are ridiculous at the moment. So it's stifling a lot of volume and trade on ETH. But, you know, it's a cruel wind that blows in no man's direction. So basically it's helping BSC grow and when ADA comes out it should help them as well because at the moment ETH is pretty much killing all the all the smaller investors. But um, depending on what asset you want to change you can choose here USDT, ETH, BTC, everything along those lines. It doesn't have to be an ERC20 token but you can see there's loads there, they're adding them all the time. But ETH is the predominant one and the one we're going to do on this network. And we're going to do it from E from network to the Binance Smart Chain. Make sure it is the Smart Chain network and not the Binance Chain network and go that way. And is if you have not added the Binance Smart Chain network in your MetaMask yet, please click add network there. I'm pretty sure most of the people that are watching this video are probably not wondering what the BSC is. They're more wondering how to get ETH over to the BSC as quickly as possible. And this doesn't require any central exchange this is just off of pancakeswap and binance.org but if you go here so you want to uh, move 0.25 ETH and it will say connect wallet metamask connect and you see it's got them ones there got them there connect and then it's connected with the ETH network onto the Binance Smart Chain or onto the Binance.org. And you can see it says the available amount and what you want to do. So like I said, 0.25 ETH. And what this means if I want to swap it into BNB in this order. I think this just confuses things more. But you can see if you want to do it, so you can say it will say 2 ETH, 2 BNB is 0.35 ETH. Uh, 1 BNB is going to be half it. And then 0.5, but you can see, basically, like I said, I don't think this is a good option because then you're always going to be left with ETH over unless you do the perfect amount, whereas I like to do it like it's 0.25. I want to swap, I don't want to swap to BNB. We'll, we'll do that in a different bit. And then you click next. It will be to the same destination. You can see this is the same arrival address as the sent address and 0.25. So then you go next. You confirm it on one here and then you confirm it on the next one on your MetaMask and you submit the transaction. It's going to cost you ETH fees. We've got $9.45, which is actually really cheap for ETH. So, and especially with the GUI at the moment. So confirm. And then you have to wait. The the thing that is a bit tricky on this is that when it arrives on the other side, it doesn't get added automatically to your wallet. So this is all good. I'm not going to watch this. But if I go, if I show you, if I go to the wallet, and then you don't want to go there, actually. you want to go onto the BSC mainnet. And as you go onto the BSC mainnet, all of that will change again, and it won't say the transaction is happening anymore, and it won't be in your assets. But what you do need to do it is, it's going to arrive quite soon, and what you should do in preparation is get the Ethereum BSC network up so if you go to coin market cap it's number two you can literally click on it there and then you'll see it's the binance smart chain network uh address there smart contract address there copy that address and then you'll have to just go up there and add the custom token so if you if we just maximize it to expand and go down to add token and you can add token address and then ETH is there and then you click OK and the ETH should turn up 
when it turns up. So now you just wait and it will basically turn up. You'll see they send it to one place, it gets wrapped, then it gets sent on again to the your Binance smart chain address. And then you should receive it there. And then once you're in that place where you've got the ETH, so select currency here, just copy and paste for ETH. Uh, yeah. How do I select it? Why well, don't you just let me yeah. ETH? There we go. And then when you've got the 0 0.25 ETH and you want to get it into BNB, it will save. Insufficient. Yeah. You can see it's just taking a time to load. 0 0.25 would equal 1.71837. And that's it. You click swap and then you, you basically get your ETH into BNB ready to use on the BSC as you please and you can do it the I don't know if you can do it the other way I know you can do it convert ERC to BEP I'm not sure if you can convert BEP20 to ERC but maybe that's a different video altogether but thank you for watching ladies and gentlemen I hope it will run smoothly for you just make sure that the address that you're sending it to is your own address it'll be exactly the same if you're on ETH and Binance Smart Chain so it will automatically put it in for you just make sure you don't change it um, and then on the other side, just make sure that you've added the custom token of ETH to be able to view it and then trade the ETH on the BSC for BNB or maybe the, you know, what other pairings it's with. But any other questions, feel free to add it to, like, just comment them and I will answer it as I can. But thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more. Billy Wiz over and in.